During their first war no one understood why humans would burn their banners before retreating from a base if they couldn't take it with them. It was only after we first captured one that we realized just what it meant for a human to lose a banner. The whole campaign had been a disaster. Despite every calculation done by the High Council, every check and double check in the long line of bureaucracy of our careful species decided that this war was one we'd win handily. What third generation spacefaring civilization could take on one of the first three? One of few species that has spread far enough to completely remove threat of extinction. Humans could. While we understood the universe using rules they were the natural rules, rules that were impossible to break and nearly impossible to bend. There were no rules other than the ones provided by the universe but humans had not the time to unshackle themselves from invisible rules. Rules of honor and rules of camaraderie. While often thought of as chains humans managed to use them as weapons, where they were regarded as barriers humans used such frivolous ideas as tools to build themselves up. We learned the strength of these rules much too late. We learned of the first tool of humanity and the rules of camaraderie. We learned of this tool when we managed to capture our first humans, we were sure to capture rank and file troops so they would not be tactically worth taking even for the benefit of delaying our understanding of their biology. It was a carefully calculated move and we thought we knew that the humans would follow the 97.3% probability of cutting their losses, and having a better chance at the war. We thought wrong, we were celebrating a mission well done when alerts from our scouts sounded of a force quickly approaching. The mood not quite soured we quickly took our stations and prepared for a battle with a 84% chance of success when the scout stopped transmitting. The lack of advanced information dropped the chances to 79%, displays began to warm up across a fleet of the mighty Berusian Empire when the human fleet comes into view, lacking the elegance and mathematical precision of the older empire they instead had a quickly engineered roughness around them that screamed aggression. Chances at 67%, the first wave of fighters hits the flank of the superior fleet a move that made little tactical sense if one believed in preservation of war assets the battle chances rapidly changing as new information emerges about their illogical enemies each attack one of emotion, one of camaraderie for their captured brethren. It was the human's first successful engagement one that was originally found to be a statistical anomaly. We later learned of another weapon of the humans, honor. It was much later where the human campaign had gained much momentum and the humans had the very rare challenge of filling all the space they had taken from a previously respected empire. A shadow of its superior past self the Berusians devolved into a loosely structured collection of vicious illogical beasts. With high command losing all respect the rules of logic fell apart and emotion took over where total victory became a child's fantasy generals became warlords claiming petty victories as great conquests. One such mistake was made by a fairly popular warlord, after a campaign that actually had support from the often disregarded High Council Kshilai managed to claim a coat of arms from their mythical enemies. It was the greatest victory the Empire could claim in three human generations of fighting. The victory did not last near as long as the losing streak did as the soldiers awoke from their celebrating the lesson of honor began to rock the planet side base where the coat of arms was held. It was an otherwise useless military storage moon rather than even a proper planet but it was the most vicious human planet landing of the whole war. Soldiers on both sides died in vicious combat not over resources or even military supremacy but of a set of rules so barbaric one side had lost all record of them ever existing. The Berusians did not have another opportunity to learn lessons from their superior enemy as they had lost all fight, something they could stand to learn from the newest member of the short list of species spread out enough to be impossible to exterminate.